Hello, all. Welcome oh. back to another episode of Niger Knows. I'm Nika. Felicia. Felicia. So oh, we're gonna jump right in. I forget what I was watching or what I saw that this even like came up as a topic. But anyway, mm-hmm. they was talking. Maybe it was a podcast. I don't know. They were talking about body count, whether or not mm-hmm. it matters. You know, when you are dating or looking to get serious about someone. Uh, the gentleman in the video that I saw was saying how it does matter because now he's speaking for himself. You know, they always say men, but it's him. You know, we don't know if it's like yeah. that for all men. And I should have done better and got a man on here so we could talk about it. But anyway, mm-hmm. um, think it matters because um, he's going to basically look at how you were with those men or the type of men and determine your worth essentially based on who you've dated in the past um and how many times you've had or how many different people you've had sex with this is what he said i'm paraphrasing but basically yes basically because it's letting him know whether or not you're somebody he can get serious about in his opinion he said men based on the type of people you the chose, and people, that's yeah, irrelevant yeah, because yeah. the person I was then now, that type of the person I was then, I was then, I'm not that same person. So you can't pass judgment on a person. Say if I dated somebody five years ago, well, you dated that. That's stupid. Right. What about the number of people you've had sex with? Because that was his main all driving point. No. What's the number? We all have a life. I'm sure if you sat that man down and asked him how many partners he have he's had, I'm not sure how old he is. I'm sure he probably have to use his hands, toes, and probably a football field of other people. Not a football. Right? <laughs> a full football field of other people. That's a lot. Now, in that case, it does matter. <laughs> You know, I, I don't even put a past people. <laughs> but you had a past before me. So who am I to be like, oh, well, you had more than five people? Yeah, I don't want to. Come on now. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, I I agree. I think for me, I never ask. Because I honestly, I don't care. Um, mm-hmm. Have I been asked? Yes. Maybe a couple times. But honestly, it hasn't really come up. That's why I say he's speaking for him. Versus men, because I haven't really had that come up a whole lot, maybe once or twice, where they're asking me about how many I've slept with in the past. You know, that's maybe happened once or twice, like I keep saying. Um, Yeah, it doesn't matter. A, I don't want to know, because I don't want to think that you're loose with your penis. Um, Number B, but you do. My more more important thing than the number is whether or not you are healthy. You don't have any STDs. Um, that you can't get rid of things that you could possibly transfer to me if we decide to go that route and not use Absolutely. protection, even even with using protection. I, I check for no, thanks. Hips and scratch okay. stuff like that. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> good. <laughs> you gotta watch it. Gotta watch it. <laughs> um, yeah, so it doesn't really matter, and I feel like this only comes up when it's talking about men evaluating or looking at dating women i don't hear a lot of women talking about men's body counts and whether or not they care or if it matters because i don't think that we really do i think that's a man's ego that makes him put so much emphasis on that because at the end of the day if you look at the bigger picture it doesn't really matter because once you i don't know how old this guy is that you saw his thing but even if he's in his 30s, you've lived life. You've dealt with many people at that point. I don't care how many people you've been with. I'm already going to assume it's been multiple people, more than 10, possibly even more than 20. My thing is, how many relationships have you been in? And obviously they weren't successful, but how were you in those relationships? And of course, you're only going to get one side, but if the person is honest and, and truthful, you can get you can gauge and get a pretty decent idea. But that should be more of the focus rather than how many people a person yeah. has slept with. That's stupid. And I think, well, I think that is grounded. And this is a fact, so I'm not even going to say that I think, but that 
mindset or viewing it that way, I should say, is grounded in the fact that women, the societal idea that women are supposed to be pure until marriage, you know, and not be having all these sexual partners before they get married. The only thing is that I always question is when when men or even women are talking about, oh, she slutted out, she blah, 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 because mm-hmm. she's been a lot of people. Well, she wouldn't be a slut if it wasn't for a man, right? Because her being with men is what made her a slut. So if she's a slut, then you're yes. a slut maker, which means you're yes. also dirty. If she's dirty, you're also dirty because you put your penis and made her in and made her a slut. So which exactly. part is dirty? And if you're calling her dirty, you still slept with her. So you at yeah. that point, then you know, even after like you, with her, you knew she was quote unquote slutted out before you slept with her. You still did it. You still so did what it. What does that say about you? So like <laughs> women you're nasty, sir. And all this, but just like you don't want no woman that's been, you know, passed around, so to speak. Guess what? We don't like that either. I don't want to be yeah. arm in arm with you, go somewhere and several women in there know, know you. Know I've been you who have been with you, you know, intimately. I don't want that either. I ain't even slept with you yet, and they know what you're being And like, they know like, what you're working know. with. Like <laughs> that's that's I don't I don't want I don't want that either. Not that it has happened or I really care that much but nah just like you don't want somebody passed around we don't, we don't want somebody passed around either no we don't want it but but a man's ego is so much more fragile than a woman yeah yeah way more and also we're in 2024 like come on now like how many virgins you think are really walking around unless they're minors i mean in hell <laughs> don't even get me started on that <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, I'm just saying the odd, especially now. Granted, this guy—I mean, it's hard to tell how old black people are. A lot of times, you can't tell. If you're like, oh, he's yes. 25, and he'd be like 59, you know, because he looks so young. So yeah. I can't really say how old this guy was. I'm guessing probably in his 30s, um, just based on the format and you know the topics that they talk about. Mm-hmm. Um, guessing in his 30s somewhere, early mid 30s. Like the odds of you in the United States of America, I don't know about anywhere else, but in the United States of America, the odds of you finding <laughs> a meeting, being compatible with, attracted to, and okay to, you know, make a lifetime commitment to the odds of you finding that person and that person being a virgin are slim mm. to none. Girl. Slim to none. I don't care what age group. Slim to none. So you're gonna have Damn. to be okay with the fact that whoever you get with has had partners with other people. you. And if it's gonna yeah. hurt your ego, you probably just shouldn't ask. Just are you safe? Like, are you healthy? Yeah, yeah. Let, and 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 if you place. still don't believe that, let's just go to the doctor together and get tested and be and safe sure that way. We're both but don't ask the question. Get your feelings hurt. Yeah. Now you butt her. Now you made a whole had a whole dissertation about it because now right. you feel some type Him of too. Way. <laughs> Him too. <laughs> just don't say spare your own feelings. <laughs> and just don't ask. <laughs> no. If it enters your mind, let it like in meditation, you let it come and then you let it go. Let it go. Release. Relax. Relate. Release. Breathe in. Breathe out. <laughs> I count. And, keep, and breathe in, keep your mouth closed. And don't when you exhale, don't let it come out. Mm-hmm. Just exhale through your nose so it doesn't come out through your mouth, you know? Right. Don't, right. don't let it come out. Yeah. Yeah. Because body count these days, and then it's like, well, what does it's high? What happens? <laughs> what happens if uh, you know, it wasn't intercourse, but it was oral? Does that count? Do you count that? Some men would say mm-hmm. that don't count. Really? But women so would say if, that counts, maybe. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So if a woman is given if oral proper, sex. I don't know, but that's why we need a man on here. I guess it counts. Yeah. We need a man. Or if a man. Uh, I, I can see a man saying, oh, well, she did was give me a head. What? I would be like, are you serious? <laughs> For me, if I was in a relationship with a man, that to me would still be considered. It would count. Yeah, because yeah, it would count. Your, Definitely, it would count. All your phallus, so it counts. 
Yes. Um, but some men feel like that doesn't count for them, but it counts for her. I don't know. It's, it's backwards. It's the... Uh, what you know, math are they using? <laughs> man math? What? Boy math? So it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> They're using boy math, and um, that's a math I can never understand. I've raised two boys, and I still don't understand it. You still don't get it. Although they're not in these types of conversations, but still, sometimes they have done things. I'm like, why? And then they either tell me or they say they don't know themselves. So we'll none of us know. We'll never. We'll never get it. We'll never because they don't know why they did it. It's just something that they did. It's something that entered their mind. They did it, and there's no reasonable or logical explanation nope. for said act. Nope. They just did it. That's scary. And you know, and we've got men running the world. That shit is frightening. <laughs> it's terrifying. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, like, I don't know. Body count. I don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not the type to ask the question. I, I Honestly, I don't. I don't care. Um. And probably I'm saying I don't care because I don't want to know. Because if I did know, I probably wouldn't want to talk to you anymore, maybe. Why? Maybe. Why? Why, though? Why? That's what I'm thinking. Like, would I? Would, yeah. What if they say the number is 100? Is that going to matter to me? I definitely, it, it does matter in the sense that, like I said, the STD part. Because that's what I'd be thinking okay. about. I don't need to know who. So then you're going to lead into questions. Have you ever had an STD? Have uh -huh. you been treated for an STD? Do you have something you can't get rid of? Yes. Would you ever get to, if this is somebody that you were still like, dang, but I like him. Would you be willing to be like, okay, that's your number. That's fine. Let's just both go get tested so we can be safe. So you yeah, know, yeah. Would you... yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So maybe you wouldn't care is you would care, but only. For both parties' sake, for the health, but sake. not it's not so much the number. Yeah, because you can sleep yeah. with one person and get an STD. You ain't got to sleep with everybody. Exactly. Yet, you know, so yeah, exactly. it'd be more so a health factor. You just increase your odds by the number of people. But um, yes. yeah, I, I would just want to make sure that you're healthy. Um, yeah, but I would also have to really like you because so at some you. point I don't even I don't care. <laughs> I say that a lot. I don't care. <laughs> no, we, I do care, y'all. Like I do have feelings. <laughs> I just, I don't be caring enough to make my face show it. Don't put it yeah. that way. But wait, but wait, you had, your face really never shows it though. So. True, 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 true. Yeah. I hold tight so, my so, emotions so. and my reaction. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Um, you looking for emotion in her face, you ain't gonna find it, ever. Uh, she could be happier than the pig and shit and you won't see it. Oh, you won't see no. it. I'll be like, dang, I'm real no. happy right now. With a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is a lot. I hear, uh, this is really I'm I'm having such a great time. <laughs> All the emotion is in. It stays inside. <laughs> That's why people are always like, Are you is something wrong? Is everything okay? Are you okay? Because you just look like I can't really tell. Like, are you I'm fine? Like, Chill, yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. I realize that's why people ask me ask me that all the time. So, oh, that's why they say that because you look like you might be mad. I'm not really sure. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Body count doesn't matter to us. Doesn't matter to y'all. We need a no. man up here. I should have done better. Let us know. Yeah, we do. I need to find a man. Not for myself. I mean to come on here with us. Just talk about this thing. <laughs> Why'd you have to clarify that? I gotta clarify. Stuff. Find a man no for the podcast. Get in her DMs, y'all. No, I'm playing. Don't get in her don't. DMs because we will talk about you. Don't do that. I'm playing. I'm playing. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do the it. Answering <laughs> anyway, are slim to none unless I know you're that. but as soon as you say something stupid, I'm gonna get a phone call. Okay. Yep. More than likely we'll you'll get blocked. It. I'll say hello and then get blocked. It reminds me, so somebody had DM'd me. This is a sidebar story. Some person that's following me on Instagram. I don't know who it is. Whatever. Clicked on the page. He's in Nigeria somewhere. You know, when you... Sometimes you... My dad be posting stuff sometimes and then I get all this influx of like this rush, mm -hmm. you know, during that time period. Anyway. He said, reply to one of my stories. Hey, whatever. I'm like, oh, hey, you know, nothing crazy. So we like made a couple jokes back and forth and that was it. And a couple days later, I he I opened up Instagram. I saw he messaged me. I looked at it, and for me, one is 
slim chance I'm going to respond to a, to a DM. Number two, if I'm in the middle of something like working or doing gym, whatever, I might see it. And be like, okay, you need to respond and then get back to whatever I'm doing. Yeah. And then I'll forget mm-hmm. about it for weeks. It'll be like a month later. Be like, oh, yeah, that's right. I was supposed to respond, you know, because <laughs> that's how my brain works when it comes to things that aren't, you know, that important to me right that second. Anyway, a couple of days later, go back, mes- message from him. Oh, I see that you saw my message and you didn't respond. <laughs> Bruh. First of who all, are you to demand a response from me but anyway second of all we just exchanged a couple jokes like it ain't that deep i was my bad my bad i will not be friendly <laughs> block <laughs> yeah i can't the audacity of the people audacity. this is my time like okay my i time. saw it but i'm not obligated to respond, respond. To and i feel like the more people realize that nobody is obligated to you the easier your life will be you know? Oh my God! Right? Thing so personal. I don't. Nobody owes you nothing. Literally, nobody does. And I love we like to think that people do because we feel like they should treat us a certain way or do certain things. But reality is, nobody owes you anything. We're all going to die one day, and it's going to matter. That yeah. it texts you back that same day. No, it's not. No, not it's not. About that on your deathbed. You know that time no. like I didn't respond to me. Nobody's I know. Care. I'm gonna be thinking about my close friends and my child, my family. That that's what I'm gonna be thinking about. I'm gonna be doing my own life review before the good Lord finally says, "All right, come on home, my child." Yeah. And trust me, you'll be able. You know, this person didn't one. message me back. <laughs> <laughs> will not be thinking about that. Anyway, we didn't got off the topic no. again. <laughs> again, oh, what are we talking about body count. Anyway, that was a sidebar story thinking about DMs and stuff like that. Do I almost said a curse word? Um, body count doesn't matter to you. So it's, I don't want to say it's different with women, but it's different with women. Um, No, it doesn't matter. I don't care how many people you've been with, but are you, see, how can, I don't want to be too vulgar, you know, but you know, with women, you know, you're putting your mouth in in places and that's more chance of you bringing on some home, you know, or if you're using other apparatuses. But I, I think, say if you're in a relation, I don't know, but does this matter? Say if you're in a relation and, and then you step outside a relationship, I think it matters more just because there's only a couple things you can do, right? And you could, you went out there and now you all up in this region here, like I have a problem. Again, health. <laughs> Trying to keep it clean in <laughs> your <laughs> Without yeah. being extremely vulgar. Yeah, I get what you're saying, girl. Yeah. When you put in your faces in spaces, you need to know that that space is clean and clear, has been properly, you know, disinfected. T- tended to. Tended to, yeah. you know, yes. air freshener sprayed, you know, it shouldn't smell. Those types of things. So I guess like, when, you know, you, you meet a woman and it's like, okay, well, how many people have you been with? Okay. Not many, but it's always in the back of your mind. Like you, you looking around the lips, like heavy, like you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I are you having an outbreak? Can I visually see anything? Like, <laughs> yeah, and I would think because women, we when it comes to STDs, we show the symptoms. Yes. Whereas men, a lot of times, don't. It has yeah. to be really, really it bad before the they show yeah. any any symptoms of it of anything happening. Yeah. Um. So yeah, yeah. I, I can see that. Yeah, you would want to see. That's why I couldn't. Nah, because I'm not. Fam- <laughs> oh, it's a little. So there's been situations, you know past relationship where I may have acted a little out of character because what are you doing? Like you, (laughs) are you trying to kill me? (laughs) Like, I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. (laughs) Like, no. So I get, it's different, but it's not like, does that make sense? I I hope it makes sense. (laughs) So you can understand um, why a man might ask because, okay, that makes sense. See, we came to a conclusion yeah. how the men might think about it. 
because they got to look down there and possibly put their faces in spaces and they want to make sure, like I said, those spaces are clean and, get, and clean properly and smell good. I get it. Okay, I see. You know what? Bottom line is, you know, you get in a relationship with people, y'all, let's just all go to the doctor together. How do we just do that? So just we can cut out all the BS. Yeah. yeah. Have a, a, a recent. Oh, so we're ready to training. have sex now? All right, let's go. Right. You know, another sidebar. That's another thing where I be thinking about dating and stuff because I'm being way more intentional, like way more careful with just my energy period. I'm talking about physical, mm. just where I'm spending time and stuff. Once it gets to that point in dating, I realize that it's probably going to come to a point where I would probably ruin the mood because I am going to ask like, are you healthy? If we're going to be doing this, this means you're my man. Like you realize that, mm -hmm. right? I'm intentionally dating. Mm -hmm. I'm out here just trying to add another body. You know, I'm not trying to add to my belt or nothing like List. that. Yeah. I'm not trying to introduce, you know, new dick energy into my space. Like, if we're having sex, you're my man. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want to yeah. be my man, then we don't need to have sex. Exactly. Yeah. And maybe that's a conversation before it even gets to that. Like, you need to. Yeah. 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 Like, is this, I know it's going to get there. And just, this is what my thinking is, my expectation is. And if you're not about that life, then don't call me no more. <laughs> don't call me. Simple. Yeah. Simple. Yeah. Anyway, well, we know. I feel, feel like we this got a man. So how the men might look at it, you know, we got there eventually. We circled around and went around the bush a couple just, times. We got yeah. to it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess so. I, yeah, guess. I, I get it. Anyway, and that's why it just comes back to just everybody get tested. Just yeah, get tested and and know your partner. Yes. No, and right. don't have the expectation of oh if you had this many people then I can't be with you. That is not um it's not logical. That's not the the times we're living in. So let's be logical and let's just all right. like you said are we safe and go to the doctor. And then the thresholds could be different. You know, for you it might be three people for and she's like okay I'm only two so we're good. You have sex with it don't yeah. work out and then you're on to the next guy. He said he says well my limit is two people. Well, now you at three because you the last guy you know what I'm saying so exactly. Just don't think about it. Just make sure they're healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. Anyway, oh, I, make I'm sure. tired just having this conversation. Okay, you know, like, we done. <laughs> yeah, we done. We this done. Is tiring. Another right, job. <laughs> Reason number 337 why I stay in my house by myself and mind my business because it's too much to think about. Anyway, all right, y'all. Make sure y'all like, share, comment subscribe men y'all chime in let us know i'm gonna find a man to do uh, a couple of these with us because we definitely need a single man yes. single emphasize single you're dating single you ain't got very nobody. single I mean, nobody nobody who thank you they man you're actually single out here dating and we need your opinions yes. all right y'all peace out <laughs>